Oh boy, Survivor! Oh, I'm just so excited. Alright guys, let's cross to Africa now. No, no, Toto, get out of here. I don't want your synth pop music. Oh, jeez. Just play the intro. I think you'll find day one very exciting on Survivor. A whole nothing happens! So you move on to day two, where you walk on a beach, and I thought we were in Africa, you're confusing me, game. Then you get a camp event. And now I'm gonna show you what it would have looked like if the game had actually shown you what it would look like. Hey, these berries look delicious, I'll bring them. Oh no! Oh, my organs! <laughs> So after that jolly good time, you get tree mail. Look for the pattern or you may be leaving. The key to victory is all in the weaving. You need to be wary of the time you're consuming. If you take too long, eviction is looming. This isn't Big Brother. Uh, you unscramble some fabric, which is, you know, always what I do when I'm on Survivor. Let's go. Survivor's ready. Go. I would say one of the main problems with this game is that the challenges are generally either boring or just not great to LP. So instead of just narrating on the challenge, because there really is nothing to narrate, you're saying everything that's happening with the matchup of things, I'm going to tell you a story. One day I was walking down the road and I saw a man in his stall. And then I watched Short Bus all day and we have a win. I win. Okay, let's see the scores. Tagi! Tagi! So hey, that's it. We won immunity and now we don't go to Tribal Council. Which is great for an LP because I don't have to show anything. Oh wait, I don't get to show anything in the bad 3D. Wonderful. Day 3, we are now on. Where we go into the survival period, which doesn't include a lot of survival. It more means looking at pictures and seeing how everyone feels about you. And that is represented in words, as one would suspect from this kind of game. Everyone feels like that about us, and then they feel basically the exact same about Richard, who has a beard, and also the journeyman Greg, and then also Colleen, who is a woman, and then also Jerry, although she has one more unfavorable, and Elizabeth is the same because she is a conservative, and then Tom, and also Frank is in this game, and then there's us again. We're also the best builder and the most resourceful, which is just spiffingly good. And, yep, yeah, and uh, that's the end of the episode. So for now, Dishpan, say goodbye, and thanks for watching.